Oh my goodness. Hello, hello. I hope you are well. It's been so long. It feels like forever. <clears throat> I'm going to try to be as loud as I can. I don't have much of a voice. Um, I've been busy working away, planting and gardening. I'm way up in northern Canada right now. I'm not even close to where I live. <laughs> um, and I've been trying to set up everything and get my work done because... As most of you know, I'm an artist. Oh, I think it just went. That's wild, because I see the line going across. Um, the internet has been shaky on and off, so that's why I haven't come on to do a reading. And of course, I've been busy, 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 busy. Uh, I'm getting gardens together here and settling in. Um, oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So there's a trailer being built. And I'm doing courses on plant dyes and watercolors and paints. Oop. And here's your first card already. It says, find organic fruits and vegetables and give you a boost of high force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. Isn't that funny? Because I was just talking about gardening. Um, tomorrow, too, it's, uh, it's 11.43 p.m., and tomorrow we're hauling butt and finishing the uh, the vegetable garden. A lilac tree was planted today. There was just, it was a beautiful day. And my spirit guides are tapping, saying, you got to get on and do a reading. So here I am. So I'm messy. I'm tired. And yep, Cinder's here. Sookie's here. And I feel like the angels are here now. I did already say to the room. I'm in like on a major crystal. So I didn't have to bring many crystals. I'm actually in an area that is a very old gold mining town. And uh, there's, a, like, there's a lot of old gold mining time, towns up here in northern Ontario. And um, the vibration's really high. So, let's begin. Thank you, thank you for joining me. I'm looking forward to making this a regular occurrence again. Um, yeah, I finally got everything figured out. My laptop froze on me, so I couldn't record any readings. Um, I did a test yesterday um, on two different devices, and that's why I'm on tonight. Because I can get it going. Yay! So, if that's exciting. Okay, angels, what messages do you have for us? It says, release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. And right in time, too, with the full moon energy. Just releasing. She's actually probably right directly behind me. You know what? I am doing a little bit of work afterwards. I got some uh, proposals to write. And so, here, I'm going to show this. A poppy petal. Um, I'm pressing them, and I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to get the color. Um and do a little bit of research on it, so I'm pretty excited about that. But they're drawing right next to us. Oh, there's these cards here. I feel like poem to call these and read these. You're being supported at this time when you're releasing. You're completely supported, loved, and guided. Yep, again with surrender and release. It's two times on the release. And you have a lot of support in this releasing. I'm feeling like there's there's fears. There's anger. There's uncertainties. I'm even feeling like people and places. I know it's scary. 
I just made a big jump too. Like, uh, I will be going back and forth for a little while, but it's it's huge to make a different different choice to live in a different place and live your life in a very different way. Four, four, four on the clock. When I said that, I must have hit a button right there about living in a different place. But there's some stress about this. And they're asking you to release that worry that things come at exactly the right time and place. There's one more card here. Oh, you're going to get signs that you're that the support is here. Uh, I'm actually like, I'm, I'm looking at the card and I'm feeling it and I'm getting, there's going to be wind around you. Or there's going to be a gust of wind or you're going to see in the trees or near some flowers there, or it's going to actually kiss you on the cheek. That's, wow. It's making me feel so relaxed and calm. And feathers, I'm hearing feathers too. Then they're going to see them and they're going to come down. Or they're going to be in your presence, you're going to find them. Oh, look at this, and they're all beautiful. And they're... How she loves these readings. You know, when I came up, <clears throat> she was sitting right in front. She knew the cards were here. Oh, yeah. Suki's on the other side. She's in her, her little playpen. She's sleeping. She's been running around with big dogs. That's cute. Some of you follow me on my, <clears throat> on my other social media, so you know what I'm talking about. Thank you, by the way, for all your support. It's amazing. Um, I do have a website now. I got to make sure I get this up and going on YouTube as well. I do have a website now. I did get that up. Um, I, I think I got readings up. I I do have a special on right now for readings. Like if you want personal readings, I've got a lot of messages about personal readings. And um, I waited till this full moon to get a lot of things done so that I could come back and offer myself completely. Um, you're going to get raw and real all the time. Um, and I'm hoping that I'm helping people with these readings. I was very blessed to be able to give a reading recently and um, they got some really good closure on the reading. Um, it took them 13 years for that closure, so I was very honored to be part of that. So if you have any interest in that, please feel free to email me or you can find me on my social media at Rainbow Winds Healing. And now I feel like it's time to start the rest of this. That there was a reason why I needed to pause and say that. Um, we're going to go back to the releasing thing. Um, there's someone that really needs to release some of their eating habits. And start eating more fruits and vegetables. And um, I'm getting that advice too. Because... Uh, I've changed my diet a lot since I lived up here, um, but I've had a lot of fun with it as well. But I'm counterbalancing it with taking my plant medicines. Um, but you can only do that for so long, right? So you have to really watch what you're eating and what's coming in. Trust that energy. Um, I'm going to get some guidance right now. And I, I am really pulled to come back to these again. And also this anim animal oracle. But I wanted to do one more here. Um, I got the golden girls here. But I got a couple of new decks for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. By the way, thank you everybody for those birthday wishes. Um, on my other social media there, that was amazing. Um, the unicorn ones. You know, I will use those tonight too. Um, I'll put the golden girls aside. But I'm going to do the guidance. And then these ones were gifted. Oh, their moon cards are in here too. Um, 
Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember the name of this deck. But isn't it a gorgeous deck? It's got the four corners on it. I feel so blessed to uh, receive these. They've been very accurate. Uh, they were very accurate when that reading I was just discussing. Okay. Guidance Ooh, for my viewers. It feels heavy. <gasps> heavy abundance. Oh my god. There's some abundance coming in. What kind of abundance is coming in for my viewers? They're saying, listen to your intuition. This is guidance. You're looking for a windfall and abundance, and it's coming. They're saying, listen to your intuition and ask your angels. I'm actually getting one more on this one and to go back to the others. Because there's some big happy changes. You're releasing. And then the abundance comes in. I even heard like even when you're eating different things, it actually increases your vibration. Yeah, it's in it. I'm not supposed to read anymore. There's one card in here that I noticed though. That is from that deck, so maybe that's why it's pulled to yeah. Within the next few weeks. So my darling viewers. You have quite an amazing reading. They're saying, you know, it's time to release things, especially focus around your diet and what you're putting into your system, like fluids. They're asking you to listen to this intuition of yours. There's these big happy changes. And these are things that you really, really want. There's this abundance of things that you want. Um, but they're saying, ask us, ask us for help. this abundance is coming there's going to be opportunities coming to you within the next few weeks so we're going to listen to your intuition okay remember you're going to be getting your signs you're loved and guided and supported like by many do you see that that's an amazing support circle. I'm like, that's from the heavens. And look at this here. Two releases. Release, release. You can ask Archangel Michael for help with that release. Oh, and on the bottom of the deck, it says if you get nervous, focus on service. Sorry, I got like a million black fly bites and mosquito bites. That's one thing about northern Canada. We get like lots of whites. And I'm allergic to the sun. So I have like hives all over. <laughs> I love nature though. I can't give it up. At the bottom of this deck, it's frog. It says prosperity. Let go of the past and embrace this change. There are opportunities that are close at hand. Hop into the new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune are awaiting you. I just seen 1313 on the clock. Just beautiful cards, eh? Let's shuffle now. Four for the four winds. For the four quarters. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at that. The eagle. Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. There's winds again. Your wisdom inspires the world. 14, 14 on the clock. Wow. What a powerful reading to come back to, huh? Incredible. 
both cards again. So with the other cards, it was release, release. Asking Archangel Michael. Again, release, release, because when you release, you get these big happy changes that you've been wanting. They want you to listen to your intuition, just like the froggy one said, to jump into that prosperity. Because that abundance is waiting for you. You got all that support, so make sure to ask them for your, their help. They're there to help you. And they're saying within the next few weeks, these opportunities are here. Let's find the fridge just kill it. Then I get a mini fridge in my room. It's pretty cool. Okay. So I am going to read these cards that pulled over in just a second because when I went back to go grab the cards from earlier, three cards flipped over. These three. And they're saying this is important. And then they're saying that to do these cards. It says set healthy boundaries. Armadillo spirit is on the bottom of the deck. I just heard a tick. That is spirit saying yes. Solar plexus. It is safe for you to be powerful and take the change in your life in positive ways. Oh, it's one minute to midnight. Okay. Intention. Your intentions are very powerful. Because your dreams are manifesting. These intentions, these dreams are coming true. That's why they're saying it's okay. Don't hold back. Be the powerful being you are. It's safe to do that now. It's time. It's absolutely time, okay? Snake spirit, time to heal. That reminds me of setting those healthy boundaries. And oh gosh, it's 55. I actually thought that was a full moon. It's 55, snake spirit, time to heal. They're saying time to heal that, that inner self that you can trust your intuition. You're going to actually strike at the right things. Wow. My card got a weird thing on it. Ant spirit. Time to collaborate. See, there's this little... I've never seen that before. Hang on, I got itchies. I always chuck it. Oh. Guys, I'm in tick country. <laughs> okay, ant spirit. That's for somebody, by the way. For me, itching like that, that came out of nowhere. Like the top of my head, it felt like somebody was playing with my hair. And I've already done my tick check and had my shower. These are my jammies up here. It's, it's going to be a chilly night. I'm all excited. I got a, I got a fan for my window. That means it's going to be a fan for my trailer. I got a new door in my trailer today, too. So I'm pretty excited about that. But this is this time to collaborate. And that's a true statement. Oh, look at that. Cinder's like rolling over. She's like, yeah, it's good to, good to do that, eh? Cinder's such an amazing cat. Yes, you are. You're sending that pure love and energy, eh? Oh, I know you love it when I read the cards, huh? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I know. I'm hearing not to take it all on yourself. Use a beginner's mind, but you also use your mastery. And if you don't know, it's okay to hire. 
Let spirit be your guide. You can watch and wait because you're going to get those signs. And it's time for you to dive deep. It's time for you to dive deep. That's what I'm hearing. It's time for you to dive deep. Wow, what a beautiful one, too. Pink swan. I've never seen that bird. And I've had this deck for a couple of years. That was an incredible reading. It's time to stop, Spirit already said. So thank you for joining me. It's been an incredible reading. Um, make sure you watch the whole reading. Oh, wow. They're saying to pick this up again to show you the hawk. To let Spirit be your guide. And it's a really important. 32 is an important number, too. Again, backs the five. And this one of 60. Okay. That's just wow. They said to read out the numbers that you might want to write them down, even for maybe a lottery. Um, one. And they said if there's anything over the numbers, like out of, that's out of the bounds, to break it down. I'm going to explain that in a second. So the numbers are 1, 48, 53, which I'm thinking would be out of bounds. So it would be 5 plus 3, so it would be 8. 60, which is always 6 plus 0, it would be 6. 32, and 55. With 55, I would say 1, but you already have a 1. So I would say 11. Or maybe even just a five, since five came up several times. And that is your reading for tonight. Um, I don't want to jinx myself and say anything, um, because it's been a rough ride to get here. Um, again, thank you everybody for being amazing subscribers and so supportive. Um, just when I thought things were going to go boom, things went boom again. But honestly, when things blew up and blew up, blew up, it just ended up getting better and better in very different ways. Um, yeah. I actually get to wake up with a rooster. <laughs> I hear a rooster over across the way. I get to hang out with dogs. And digging dirt and I was playing with cement sculptures today. I made a couple mushroom cement sculptures. I'm going to record that on my other channel and get that hooked up here. I will come back and I will hook up my website on this reading. It'll be the first time I put my website up. Um, I still got to work on it. I will be going back home soon my other home um, in Niagara Falls because um, I got some other work to do and stuff because you know as you guys know I'm an artist and that's what I'm working on next but I wanted to, to get this reading done because it's been on me for about two days I actually wanted to do it last night but there were people arguing which I thought was funny because that happens in my old neighborhood um, and I don't record because of that, and, yeah, it was interesting, I was actually, like, saying the spirit, what's going on, like, it doesn't matter where I go, um, like, even though the neighbors are further away, you can still get them arguing, and I just kind of laughed and just said, okay, so that is life. That's okay. That is life. Because sometimes it just is, right? Okay, I'm getting mixed up with my cards. So I'm actually going to pull this unicorn card. Because that's what keeps getting mixed up. It's like they want to be red. Um, I got these for my birthday as well. Thank you. Thank you for that. You know who you are. I know you watch the readings. So thank you. Thank you. Um, 
yeah, I've always wanted this deck for a long time. Uh, I am partial to Doreen Virtue's original work. I had been since the early 2000s. Um, I did a lot of journeying in my own healing with and communicating with the angels that way. Um, I am going to do a video soon about what my thought process is on what happened with Doreen and how you can avoid not having that happen to you. Um, please don't be hard on Doreen. She was very much scared and she does believe she's doing the right thing now. But my angels and guides reassure me she'll come back. Um, but there's no timeline. Um, for that premonition, so I don't feel like it will be a long, long time. I already feel like she's already kind of questioning things. She's seeing other things and wondering now if she was fooled. Um, and that does happen. Um, she didn't understand some of the energies. Um, she was also kind of afraid to jump culturally a bit with angels in her research. Um, she just kind of wanted to keep it within a biblical standard, which I can understand. Um, I have no qualms with her. I have no qualms with anybody that believe in anything good. If they have faith, you know, just not, not faith in hurting things. Um, but by using their heart in genuine ways, I really do believe that the world will change. And that we are in a chaotic change right now. As the sun goes through changes in our planets, as things are realigning in our skies, in our cosmos, in the hearts of it all, so are we. We are known to rely our birthdays to planets and crystals, like our birthstones and our zodiacs are from the sky. So there's much history that's already intertwined. And I just feel like I needed to share that. My cert guide said it's important for quite a few of the people that will watch this. Um, my guides have told me that the channel's going to blow up pretty soon. And it's part of why I held back to the full moon. Because I'm listening to my guides. And going with them in this journey. I'm also in a class right now. Sorry, I'm so itchy. But I'm also in a class right now about remembering. And uh, I've been on a journey in the last three weeks. And the first week, it was more introductions. Um, but uh, I'm being, being honest when I say I feel very humbled in the teachings and what I'm learning and being able to share um, what is going on in between speaking with people who respect and love nature is of the highest importance to me and it's been other artists um i did hit a kind of a wall with one of my ideas but i again started reinventing and things are all on the table now so i'm looking forward to the next few months to see what paths and opportunities open to. And uh, 
I really look forward to the channel growing to the thousand because I brought the cards with me, the labyrinth cards. Um, when I hit that thousand mark, ooh, that's weird. My voice got louder. Um, when I hit that thousand mark, I will be doing readings with uh, the labyrinth cards. Uh, I made a solemn promise with that way back when I was like, like 200 people. Then I would uh, start reading with the labyrinth cards um, as a special treat, as a bonus. Then I would do that at least at least once a month. Um, but I have goals with this channel. Um, it's time to start doing more readings. There are more people looking and searching for answers and connection. And it's time for me to start making these connections for people like those because you're an important part of this journey and the story that is coming out in this world right now. Um, I'm sure you're aware there's a lot going on. I don't even watch the news and I know that there's a lot going on. And uh, your angels want you to know that it's okay to release things. There's a lot of abundance on the other side, and it's not. I know it's not just monetary for everybody. I'm hearing it's it's love. It's uh, finally finding that relationship. It's finding the job or finding the property. Um, there was some one thing that was really rounding around home, as well, like home and family. That these things are going to be coming around. These dreams. Speaking of dreams, let's see this unicorn. Gosh, this was a long reading, eh? I usually only go about 10 minutes to 15 minutes, sometimes five. I guess there's a lot to be said, huh? You'll know in the morning. When you wake up, you'll have a better idea about what to, what to do. Relax until then. <laughs> How cute is that? And they're purple. It's a purple unicorn. I hope that shows up. It's so pretty. You know what? I think I'm going to take that advice too with the, my work beside me because it's past midnight. Laughter. You need a good laugh. Laughter is good medicine. You are gifted. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry about that. You are gifted. You're very intelligent and talented. Practice. The best way to be good at a skill is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. I actually feel like you're not going to have to practice a lot. You're kind of a natural. Yeah, I'm feeling that, like you're a natural. So thank you, my darlings, for joining me. I also um, had lent the, the table out. Um, my daughter and her partner rent out to another couple, and she was getting back into some artwork. And I totally support that in so many ways. And since you're a subscriber, you know that. <laughs> um, but I also um, needed it back because I've been working with my other table. I keep two tables, one for the computer to work, to record my work as I work with the uh, plants. Um, or if I'm doing sculptures. <laughs> so I'm going to start having these things on the website soon. I got to fire these. Um, I think I'm going to do it like in an old ancient ancient pottery way. Um, but I do have readings up. I do have specials up for that. I do have mystery boxes up, magical mystery boxes. And there is a free course on my website as well. So be sure to check that out. It is the Art of Ritual uh, Candles. Um, there's all kinds of cool little tidbits in there, but different candles and such. It is probably about mm, a 45-minute course to an hour, depending on how fast you read. 
Um, that's a pure speed reader. If not, it might take you a day or two. But please take your time, enjoy it, go get candles, explore the colors, enjoy the magic, and always remember not to blow out a candle, simply or snuff it out. Um, when you blow out that energy, you blow out a candle, um, it can be counterproductive. <sighs> Interesting. But birthday candles are different. Um, but I don't, I haven't blown up my birthday candles in probably 15 years now. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. I missed you guys. Love you all. And I will see you tomorrow sometime. Or later today, I should say, because it's after 12 now. Lots of love. It's 12.18 on the clock. It's been 35 minutes and 27 seconds. And I will see you all later. Lots of love. Lots of love.